Ladies and gentlemen, nice to meet you again. It's Tuesday, it's June, it's the 8th of June, and I'm really happy to have you here back in my morning briefing show with Admirals. My name is Marcus Gamble. I'm your host of this show, and with my moderator, Anna, in the back, thanks a lot for opening the show. Without her, we couldn't make this show, by the way. So let's, let's say thank Thank you to Admirals that we can make this show every morning. Let me say good morning and welcome to this morning briefing show around the world, wherever you are. I'm so touched that I may speak to the world, that I have so many people around the world having in this morning briefing show. And uh, yeah, let's do the Orga stuff. Uh, we stream this show on YouTube as well. So if you watch it on YouTube right now, or if you watch it later, there you will find a button on the right corner in the right corner, exactly there roundabout. And there you can subscribe the channel. And so you will never miss an episode. And if you want to have, if you have any ideas in your mind, so you will find a commentary field below that video. So you can leave your comments, wishes, whatever there is, type it in the chat box and type it in the commentary field of YouTube. And by the way, maybe we would appreciate it a lot if you give us a like, uh, if you think the show is really good, it's helpful for you and your people around. So by the way, if you think this is a good idea, so invite all your people to Admirals to open a real account, put some deposit on it, and then you can have access to a lot of uh, interesting stuff, especially you can join this session too. Okay, guys, so then let's see. And on YouTube as well, wonderful good morning, Don, Barry, Albert. Nice to meet you here too. So now let me switch my, uh, share my screen with you right now. And uh, let's see the participants that I can see who you are. Danny, wonderful good morning. And the chat wonderful alexander lovely good morning so please guys feel free to uh, type in the chat box wherever you think is your mind i will do my best to give you answers as soon as possible and if i have an answer because <laughs> i'm not the uh, almighty one and i'm not uh, yeah enlightened in trading but i follow my rules that's my big point and this is what you can do as well and the leading topic guys what we want to talk to do a little bit is the special though you could see it in a video it's uh, are you too old for trading mm, that's a really interesting question right are you too old for trading mm, i have a question i have an answer for you by the way okay so what do we expect today nothing interesting by the way uh canada come up with some uh, events this afternoon yeah international trading goods and a weekly statistical bulletin we expect tomorrow is a more important day because tomorrow we expect the red decision of canada but then we can talk about tomorrow in the morning show so uh i left i want to invite you to the webinars for this week First, tomorrow, Paul is talking about the incredible career of Michael Burry. And on Friday, Jens is talking about, I guess it's Jens, how to use inside bars for your intraday trading. So, and if you follow the show and you want to see how I make my trades through the rest of the day, uh, Admirals and myself, we created a wonderful free of charge live trading room and you will find it on Twitch. Twitch is well known as a gaming streaming platform, but now we trade, uh, we have a stream there too. And you will find it on twitch.tv slash Trader. And there you can see all the stuff I'm doing for the rest of the week, uh, for the day, of course, from morning to the evening. Okay, let's start with making money. Good morning, Temba, wherever you come from. It's a kind of, it's possible that you come from Africa. I don't know, I can see it in a name maybe, wonderful. Dovani on YouTube as well, wonderful and lovely, good morning. So 
you see, actually, I have a pending order in the Dow Jones. And this is really cool, guys, because we made with our day trading, we made already money. And I want to show you almost 1,000 euros in the last three weeks from South Africa. Greetings to South Africa. Nice to meet you. Um, and here in Dow Jones, so we have a current down trade right now. And the correction leaders, the correction leaders, uh, over 38, 38%. So we had uh, balance candles there. And now I set a pending order because I am around the point of control. I'm a little bit more carefully there. But as a trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break, guys. So uh, actually, I'm speculating on the trend continuation. Therefore, I set a pending order close to the last point two. That in case we will see a trend continuation, they will pick me up. And then we will see how far the trend will go. So this is the current trading idea in five minutes chart in Dow Jones. But if you want to make day trading, you have to take any signal. Yeah, you know, that's the, it's based on the rules of the law of probability. So don't miss it. It makes no sense to catch up some time a signal. I mean, most of the cases you catch a bad signal and the good signals, you are in job, you are in work, you are not there. And that makes no sense. So if you want to make day trading, yeah, follow my Twitch channel and this morning briefing show, but then you make sure that you can catch any signal. Yeah. So, and let me show you. Do you mind if I teach your method or of trading to a friend? Yeah, why not? That is the point. Uh, what what I what is my mission to teach you in this morning briefing show that you can trade it properly, and then you should teach it to others. Because in my opinion, everybody has the chance and the right to become successful in trading, to make money there. Yeah, it's independent from the human factor, by the way. But the rules, feel free, tell it to your people, because it is possible to make money with that. And the best, uh, invite those guys to the morning briefing show. Yeah, And of course, to open a real account on Admirals. So that we can say a little bit thank you to Admirals that we can make this. And therefore, you do good things on two sides. First for your friend, second for admirals. And believe me, that will come back to you in a very, very interesting part. Because, you know, any seeds is really small. But the consequences, the actions are so much bigger. It's like the seed of a tree. A seed of a tree has a weight of around about uh, three grams. But, you know... A grown tree has a weight of more than one, more than three tons. So the cause is always smaller than the action, that reaction. So therefore, if you train others and if you invite them to the show, and if you make if you say open a real account, you do so many good things, you plant so many good seeds, it will come back to you which means the success will be yours too. So teach your friend sticking to rules. Yeah, and that's the most important point you can do. So, and I will show you in the past how we made money here. Let me go a little bit back. So uh, here we go. We started, look where we started in, that was the first trade. So we started uh, mid of May 18th. The first trade was a winner. Yeah, so we made 527 euros and this was 35. So around about 550 euros with the first trade. The second was a loser minus 30 ticks. You say you see small losses, big winners. Yeah, so the next one, cool, right? Next one, 88 euros. And with the big one, yeah, again, 191 euros. So you see, two winners, one losers. Next, one small loser, 78. 
and the next winner, 48 and 102. So you see more winners than losers. Next, a winner again, uh, 28 and uh, one euro, but that was uh, to cut a possible loss. Next winner, so you see, and then no losers in between. Next winner was uh, this one, 29 euros, and with the rest, a uh, couple of cent. Yeah, I guess this was this one, yeah. So again, a winner, you see. And look, no losers in between, no losers in between, because we stick to the rules all the time, yeah. And here the next one, three euro 98. And with this one, it was, I don't know. Yeah, kind of, yeah, I can see it here. No, I cannot. So, however, it's a winner, you see in the green lines. So next one here, one loser, in between one loser, 34 euros. You see small winners, yeah, uh, small losers. And then the next winner, look at this one. Again, a 36 and this one too. So again, around 10 euros. And then the next one yesterday, 44 and with the rest 47, around 50 euros yesterday. So you see we have more winners than losers. Why? Yeah, just sticking to the rules. That's all. That's all what you have to do, yeah? So that's the day trading, what we do in uh, Dow Jones, just only in Dow Jones, okay? So then let's go to the rest of the uh, charts. In Fawley charts, Mihai, do you know the word patient? Yeah, do you know that? Maybe it's time to Google it, yeah? So, you know, I always go through the four hourly chart. So learn to be patient, unless I promise you, you will never become successful in trading. Yeah, this is a human factor. Yeah, so more patient. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through Australian Swiss franc. Yesterday, we have increasing prices. And you see why I work with soft stop. We had no close above the soft stop. So, and now in case you trailed your hard stop there, you got out. And now the job is to find a new entry cause you cannot, you know why? It's against the rules. Cause one, two, three, four, five. That's the sixth correction. Yeah, it is the sixth correction. So it's forbidden if you want to stick to the rules and if you want to become successful in trading, then it's forbidden to make a trade there. So now I have my soft stop there and I'm still in and I can expect that we reach the point of control on the lower side. So I don't know what happened next. Maybe we will see a secondary trend which is facing upwards but I'm in profit. I have nothing to do at the moment. So I'm waiting that we will reach the first target at the point of low and uh, then I'm safe. So by the way, I am still safe. I'm safe already because the stop loss is in profit and my soft stop is in profit as well. So we cannot lose money anymore. That's the point why you should leave it and why you should can let the winners run. Then Australian dollar, Japanese yen. Yeah, we are still circling around the entry. So basically there is nothing to do for us. In Euro, Australian dollar. We unfortunately, we got out yesterday with a small loss, 33 euros, that's fine. So, but as you can see, the trend is still valid. Why? I can tell you, look, there was no trend break. No close, no close, which means the trend is still valid. So what I am looking for is a kind of secondary trend. Basically, there is no changing in the big picture. So the point of control is still up there, 162.38. So that's the final target. Uh, the price should go back there. There's only one exception when the price of the market decides to move the point of control. But the next, the next 
spot where the uh, trend, uh, where the point of control could move is actually the current price. But this is a kind of far away to the point of control. So as long as we cannot see that they will move the point of control, we must speculate that the price will go up. Okay, so wait for a secondary trend, and then it will inform you on Twitter or in the or in the Twitch room. Uh, at the best, you follow me on Twitter if you want. Here on Twitter, my name there is DayTrader70. That's the profile, DayTrader70. You know, so you will see all my trades because I uh, published it here on Twitter. Okay, next one, Euro Canadian dollar. We are still in and now we are bidding profit. The price came back and of course we have a soft stop and the soft stop is a little bit higher than the real stop, okay? So now we have a correction and finally, yeah, this is the point three with a question mark because we don't have a trend continuation right now. So wait for it and there is nothing to do, okay? Euro Swiss franc, nice. <laughs> Maybe we will see finally the, the trend continuation to the lower side. I'm quite, I'm really excited about that. If we will see the final breakthrough to that big, big support there. And if that we will see the breakthrough, I'm quite sure that we are back on track to the red zone, to the lower side. So let's see, see, it could be really interesting. Then the last one in four hourly charts, this is a bit, uh, this is New Zealand Swiss franc. Okay. So here we go. So we opened the trade, the price came a little bit back. So, but we don't have a trend continuation right now. And we are circling at the entry actually. So basically there is nothing to do for the moment. So let it run. If you are not in, you can uh, do it again. One, two, three, it's the fourth correction. So it's fine. And the point of control is really far away. So if you want, maybe you can set a pending order a bit, on, a bit below uh, at the current price right now. So it is possible in case you are not in, in that uh, trade right now. So then the hourly chart trade, yeah, uh, we don't have a current uh, trend continuation. We failed again at the point two and a bit of close to my first uh, target, but we are actually a little bit in loss. The purple line means that's a soft stop. And again, there is a big support zone based on the volume. So let's see if we can cope the challenge, then we will close the trade. But if not, then we let it run. Yeah, we let it run. Okay, here comes a question, Euro Australian dollar. Isn't there a close above a last point two in Euro Australian dollar? Mm, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Uh, the point is, yes, basically it is. Basically it is with this, with this candle here. Uh, not this one, this candle here. There is a bit of close, but it's a kind of trick, a trick of the market because there was not enough volume to continue the trend. You can see the next candle has a lower close and the over next candle was a red balance candle, which means just a trick. Uh, this is what the market, the game of the market. You know, it's always the fight between the big money and the small money, or I would say the experienced money to the unexperienced and, and the uh, unwilling people to learn money. Yeah. So, when the smart money want to sell, they need buyers. So what game do they play? Yeah, they trick them out and say, okay, it's, go it's going up. So people speculate on a trend connection, which means, which means they buy. But what do you need if you want to buy? Yeah, you need sellers on the other side. And this is what the smart money want to do. So they trick the people out that they will buy. Then they sell with higher volume. 
and then the price is going down. Yeah. So it's not a new high. It is a new high, basically. But with I used to say, please, a clear close. Yeah. Do you know what is a clear close? I show you. This is a clear close above the last point too. Yeah. But not those things. That's not clear closes. That's a clear close again. But this is not. Yeah. So therefore, for me, in my perception, the trend is still valid, especially it's a little bit hard stuff because we are within the red zone. Just only for me. Okay. So then uh, that's the weekly chart still running. There is nothing to do. And in US dollar Mexican peso, we're still in. In weekly oil, it's going up. So what's on my watch list? In a four hourly chart, um, still US dollar, Canadian dollar. Actually, it looks like we have this low. So the correction maybe is over at the moment. And um, which means, but actually we miss a proper balance scale. There was one, but uh, we couldn't see that the price go up. So now we are waiting for the next balance candle. But now, uh, to be honest, I don't want to open a trade. Even we will have a balance candle in next uh, next periods because we expect the rate right decision tomorrow. And that's not a good idea to um, open a trade be close before the rate right decision will come up. Okay. So Euro New Zealand dollar. Yeah, that's a bit of more interesting. So we saw the correction. And as you can see, they stopped exactly at the point of low. And that's really interesting. So, but unfortunately, we miss a proper balance candle. This, guys, is not a proper balance candle. Of course not. So there's a clear subscription how a proper balance candle should look like. Yeah. It's a kind of uh, this one. That is a proper balance candle. This one is a proper balance candle. Oh, this one. Yeah. So, for example, this is a proper balance candle. You see, the body is in the middle and we have shadows. They must be equally to each other and they must be as double as the bottom, as the body. Yeah. And this is not. So, the lower shadow is too small and the uh, shadows are not equally. Okay, so therefore it's not a balance because so a wait for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will get our chance. We will get it. So um, I guess I was not so false yesterday that I say don't open a trade yesterday there about that balance candle because the balance candle here occurs in the middle of the night in a start from Australia, by the way. And uh, oh, Sandra, wonderful, good morning. Greetings to Australia. Nice to have you here. Okay, so I guess it was a good idea not to open the trade there. And as you can see, we're still struggling at this high volume zone. And this is why I say two things are important for trading. First, it's the price. Second, it's the volume. So, and as long as we cannot cope that challenge of that volume zone, that we can see a breakthrough to the lowest, then a retest, and then we can go down, uh, we should stay on the sideline in, this, in that currency pair. So, still on my watch list, Japanese, Japanese yen, uh, Japanese uh, index, the Nikkei index, by the way, uh, we cannot see, there will maybe today a new balance candle. Uh, and you see, yeah, it's a bit of, it's a kind of a uh, balance candle here. So, but let's wait and the trend will continue to the lower side. Yeah, we had a lot of space to go down. Don't be hurry. There is no reason for being rushed. So nothing to do at the moment. Okay. So, and actually, uh, still on watch list is New Zealand, uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And yesterday asked me, someone, is there a trend break? So, and I want to show you why there is no trend break. Yeah. So let me show you. And um, I need my, yeah, 
Here we go. Okay, so let's draw the trend properly. So start at the highest point, movement, correction, movement, no trend continuation there, that's the correction. Then this one, where is the trend, there's the trend continuation, movement, correction, movement, and then let's see if there is, no, there is not really a trend continuation there. So there was just a bit, but it was the same like in Euro Australian dollar. So uh, that was not a real trend continuation. So therefore was a clear trend continuation, which means the trend will break there and not there, yeah? Therefore, this is a good example how to train, how to draw a trend properly. Yeah. So for our hourly chart list, uh, you see there is no signal right now. US dollar, Canadian dollar, but we are circling around the point of control. That's not a good idea. And uh, yeah, you see no other signals. Euro Japanese yen was an old one, but you see the price is going up. So this is my list and if you will see a, a signal there, I will publish it on Twitter and uh, respectively in the Twitch room, live trading room here. So you see it's a bit of calm day and we will see what we can do in Dow Jones. That's the day trading. And you see we are not in, the price is circling around the point of control actually. So guys, I have a question for you today interesting question and i need your help to figure it out so my poll of the day and anna if you want we can open the poll first answer is oh for the, the question is by the way what is your real why in trading what is your real why first answer making money second one take taking care of my family our answer number three, improving myself. So what is your answer to the question? What is your real uh, why in trading? And while you think about that, I wanna talk to you about today's uh, question. The question is indeed the leading uh, topic for today is, are you too old for trading? And today, and to be honest, there is a really, really simple answer because no, you are never too old for trading, never. So for me, it is a great honor to support and coach guys in the age between 60 and almost 80. So my oldest client actually is nice, 79 years young. Yeah, so there is no age you should stop with trading. Even as a trading coach, I can learn a lot of things from such major people because they have a lot of life experience and can tell me a lot of stories. So I love to learn from my lovely older clients. So, but regardless of the age, all traders have the same challenge to cope. Your mindset, a different way of thinking, so, because a younger guy has the big benefit of not having a strong ego because he has a lack of believing tenets yeah, or too much belief principles in his life because it's a young life. Yeah. So, for a young guy, it is easier to change the mindset and building new knowledge and principles because the main board is not too full. So as a coach, I don't have to override too many things on the main board, on the mental main board, by the way. Yeah. But as a young trader, and I have a couple of young traders in my clown class clients, they have different challenges because based on their very young age, they are not so focused because they want to discover the things. Yeah. They want to go to universes. Never has a never a man has uh, was before. Yeah, 
has gone before. So, and for trading, that's very, very bad. And it's a huge wasting of lifetime. If you consistently, consistently try to figuring out what could be doing trading instead of following the strategy and the rules. Yeah. So let me see if I have a question there. Uh, you don't trade Euro USD and British pound USD unless if I miss the chart analysis. Yeah, because there are no signals there right now. That's the answer to that. You see, just only those trades are in my list uh, where I can see the rules still fit. Yeah. Okay, let me finish this topic. Regardless, if you are a young or an older one, everybody has the right, in my private opinion, everybody has the right and the chance to become successful in trading. Just only one requirement. And therefore, I ask you, what is your real why in trading? The only requirement, the one and only requirement is, do you have a strong why? Yeah, because... Are you willing to achieve your targets? And do you really want to change your mindset? And as I told you the days before, for trading, you have to change your mindset. If you're willing, really willing, yeah, to start a new journey, your age will be never an obstacle, never. But the moment you start with trading is the moment you start a new journey. That's the point. And for that, you never, you are never too old. Yeah. Change your mindset. So what is your real why? My mentor taught me, we come to trading about money, but we stay about insights. So what's the insights in trading? The insights is that you can improve yourself. By that reason that you have to follow the rules under all circumstances. Never break the rules. Never. So if we come to trading about money, that's cool. But after a couple of time, you will see you can stick to the rules and you lose money. So on the long run, you will figure out money is not longer your real why. Cause, think it through. Think it through. That's the point. And that's the big point. If money were your real why, why do you break the rules? Why is it so hard to cut the losses? Why is it so hard to let the winners run? If money were your real why. So why do you care for your kids? Why do you have sleepless nights if your kids are sick? Why? That's a real why, because you love your kids. You love your family. And a good dad or a good mom, to be honest, would die for their kids. Is that a real why? Indeed, that's a real why. If money were your real why, you would never break the rules. There were no problem in trading. But you, real, but you break the rules and you cannot cut a loss. And you are not willing to let the winners run. Why? Money is your why. That's the point. And money is not strong enough to give you the power to see the benefit of a long run. So change your real why. So what is it? That's just only on you. If it's caring for your family to give your kiddies a better education later, depending wherever you live, is it a kind of improving yourself that you go on a new journey? Did you figure out, why is it, damn it, that I break the rules? Marcus says all day, stick the rules. Why is it so damn it hard to stick the rules all the time? Why is it so damn it hard to let the winners run? What's up with me? Yeah, that's you have to figure out. And once you figure it out, 
you can work on yourself, on your willingness to stick to rules. And this is a kind of improving yourself. And this is one of the biggest advantages and benefits of real trading to figure out who you are in real without your glasses. I'm a German. I'm an African. I'm an Asian boy. I'm an engineer. I'm a whatever. Uh, just ego. Put off your glasses and figure it out who you are. Because a mom or a dad or an engineer or a German or an American or an African or an Asian, that's just labels like the DAX, Euro, US, that's just labels. But what's your price? What's your worth? What's your real value? Who you are? On that journey in real trading, you will figure it out. And that's really cool. And only if you know who you really are without your egos of I'm a mom, I'm a dad, I'm a good friend, I'm a German, I'm blah, 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 blah. Then you can find your real why. And this sends you to a real journey in trading. And that's the real cool stuff in trading. Maybe it's time to think about a little bit about that instead of, oh, show me the four hourly charts. Yeah. Oh, show me day trading. Guys, that's not important. Important is you. You as a person. You are important. And not that damn it four hourly chart. Time to think about it, guys. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day. Have courage and be kind. And may the force of the rules be with you. See you guys. Bye-bye.